the hill to Dwayne's Citadel. Uh, we've heard a lot about it. This thing is built into the side of a mountain. Uh, I believe it's all a, these rocks. It's all rock. Yeah, he's like bla literally blasted this thing into the side of a mountain with dynamite. Apparently there's underground caverns, some secret caves. We're gonna hopefully find out some of its secrets. Not exactly the most prominent feature of the house, but when it was working, <laughs> that bridge would go up at about a 60 degree angle. Duane is one of Tough Mudder's oh, lead engineers yeah. and is a true enigma. And, uh, He's been working with Tough Mudder for the past three years, and after spending just a few minutes with him, it's easy to see just how Tough Mudder's eccentric obstacles take shape. Did you use it besides at a party when you were just like messing with people? Uh, we used to use it to leave it up at night. You know, instead of locking your door, you put the drawbridge up. Some people have ADT. I have a drawbridge. <laughs> if you own a vortex cannon, the only logical thing to do is to fire the vortex cannon. Amaze your friends, confuse your enemies. My name is Dwayne Policelli. I'm an independent contractor. We've been working with Tough Mudder for about five years now with a, you know, a lifetime in the science and engineering fields. There's nothing they can conceive of that I can't build. I mean, if they want to put somebody on a three-stage rocket and send them to the space station, <laughs> You could probably find some people to help me do that. <laughs> it shoots air. Sounds benign enough, but brace yourself. <laughs> Tough Mudder's calling this battering ram. It's uh, in the medieval days, we refer to them as siege engines. If you can picture uh, an uh, assault on a castle with the, uh, the planks across the back that are hopefully going to keep out the battering ram, but not in this case turning out to be a little bit bigger than what Tough Mudder envisioned in the beginning, but uh, we could make it too small. It would sort of look more like a kindergarten playground, so put a little more scale. <laughs> I made the hinges up myself. Anything that would take the force of the battering, <laughs> this thing's gonna weigh, this thing's gonna weigh over 400 pounds. His methods can <laughs> sometimes be unconventional. <laughs> But he always comes back with the result and makes things work, and it will definitely be unique. Sometimes we test things to see what can work, and more importantly, what can't work. And these sometimes lead to better ideas in the future. Yeah, they give us uh, concept drawings, uh, which look real nice and sketch up, you know, isograph <coughs> isometric views and everything. And I say, well, I, I need something I can work with. So they threw a few dimensions on here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But as far as connection details, and when you have moving parts and one thing's running into another thing, well, we, we work through it all. Unlike battering ram, most of our obstacles can't afford to be hit or miss. We need to get them right. Funky Monkey is one of those obstacles. It's been a staple of the Tough Mudder course since 2011. And every other year, we make it our goal to improve and change this obstacle. One thing is for certain, the change to Funky Monkey this year is gonna be revolutionary. And we can't wait for our participants to try it out. Uh, you might wanna stand back further. Uh, yeah. the, the, uh, over pressures. Let, let me call the girls in the office. They always like to know a couple of minutes ahead of time. Hi, Dwayne. Hi, Jalen. I'm gonna fire the vortex cannon. I just thought I'd give you a warning. Thank you. It was 125 decibels at 150 feet away, according to one test. Which is just under pain, the pain threshold. Welcome to the 75th Annual Hunger Games. scared me. Oh, oh. You hear it? You hear it? <laughs> the Pennsylvania build is an experience. It always is. But we got through it and we're looking forward to having Will on site, the founder and CEO of Tough Mudder, to collaborate on the concepts that we've put in action. One thing is for certain. When Will's on site, he always sees the obstacles in a light that we've never seen before. 